I actually got into breakdancing when I was about 15 years old, same time I fell in love with the faith. But I'm like really lanky and awkward, so it was really difficult for me to get into it. Growing up in middle school and high school, I felt like I never had this, this opportunity to be loved. And so I went my whole life just grasping at it. I felt like I had to do what everyone else was doing. I felt like I had to be like everyone else, to dress like everyone else. For a long time, I was actually struggling with impure relationships with girls that I was dating. And for years, actually, I was struggling with an addiction to pornography. I just really felt like this is what it means to be loved, that if I can do this stuff, if I can have this, then maybe I'll be loved. God of all this really changed. By the time I was 15 years old, I went to the Steubenville Youth Conference. It, it rocked my world. There was a guy who was speaking to us and he was asking us, whatever it is that you're holding on to that's keeping you most from God, I invite you to let go of it right now. And I knew that for me, what was so difficult to let go of was this impure lifestyle. And I didn't want to give that up because I was so afraid that God wasn't going to satisfy me afterwards. But I felt the Lord tell me in that moment that once you let that go, you can have me and I can be so much more than this impure lifestyle. And for the first time in my life in adoration and prayer, I just let it go. But the thing is, I couldn't just walk away from it. I had to fight every single day to choose God instead of choose the counterfeit. Breakdancing allows me to express an invisible reality through a physical reality. I actually fell in love with it because I was pushing beyond my limits. I remember seeing something on YouTube thinking to myself, I could never do that. Living a life of chastity doesn't happen overnight. And I knew that I was meant for more. I couldn't give up no matter how many times I fell, no matter how many times I got discouraged, I couldn't give up. In the theology of the body, John Paul II talks about how our bodies are sacraments. Now a sacrament is an invisible reality being shown through a physical reality. The invisible reality is my heart, who I am, what I love, my personality, and the physical reality was being expressed through my movement. I actually achieved more than I thought I could because of this dance, because of this art form. I became a missionary for the Culture Project because I didn't want other young men to have to struggle as hard as I did to live a chaste life. I know and I want to encourage other young men that they are strong enough to find freedom in self-mastery and that they are so much more than what society is telling them that they should be. That's why I'm a missionary for the Culture Project.